I will now show you how to uh, visualize linkages, how to visualize connections. So we can say that a project in Atlas TI is a system of linkages. And from that follows that those linkages can be visualized graphically. Uh, we can visualize graphically an individual document. Let me open this document over here. Uh, let me select uh, this particular document. Right click on it and I will open, open in Network Editor. And now right click, import neighbors, which means import the elements connected to this element. And let me see what codes have I used in this in this network. I'm sorry, in this document. Well, I have used this four, this five codes, in fact. All right, right click. Uh, what quotations have I created in this document? All of these four quotations. Okay, let's take a look at this in a in a better way. And these are the automatic layouts that come with Atlas TI 8. Uh, this is called the orthogonal, orthogonal tree, circular, circular single cycle. And by the way, all of the layouts, they have an explanation. So you can, of course, take the time to read these explanations and, and see what they really mean. Uh, hierarchical, I like that one, downwards, hierarchical upwards, hierarchical left to right. So what this is telling me is telling me that in this document number five, we have the code illness, uh, which, uh, which uh, is code in quotation five, three and five, four, the code service provision, which is code in quotation five, two, which by the way, is also coded with services partnership. And that code is coded in quotation 5.1, which is coded by funding sources as well as foreign funding. You see? So now we have more of a comprehensive view uh, of what we have done so far with one single document, number five. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to close this network and I will uh, look at what we have done. Uh, with a single quotation in a network. So let's take a look at this quotation 3.2, right click, and that belongs, or this is part of document number three, open in network editor, layout like that. So we have that quotation 3.2 has been coded with the code service provision. And we also know that it comes from document number three. Uh, all right. Now you may ask, uh, what else has been coded with service provision? Well, let's take a look at that. If, is there anything else said in relation to that subject, to that topic? Yes, there are three more. All right. Let me take a look at this in a in a in a in a in a kind of a different layout. Um, and you have this option. And let me also show previews, uh, previews of the quotations, as well as well as previews of the documents. Layout again, tree. So what do we have here? Document number three. In that document, we have quotation three two, which has to do with service provision, which by the way has also been used to code quotation 7, 8, 5, 2, and 4, 2. Okay? So you see, now you are looking at linkages. You're looking at connections. Let me close this down. And I will also show you a, a quotation, uh, but now uh, one that is um, not this one here. I'm going to pick up a quotation uh, from the margin this time, okay? Instead, instead of, of getting it from the navigator, let me get this quotation number 46, right click, open network. We have to change the la layout right away. And there you go. We have 
that quotation for six, which was the starting point, it has to do with work informal, with workmen, and work general. So then you ask, well, okay, that's interesting, but uh, what else was said about work informal? Well, let's take a look at what else has been said, and you import the quotations. Oh, yes, this has been said. Now, you may ask a number 312, which has to do with work informal? Well, does it have to do with anything else? Let's see if there is any other code connected to that. Well, yes, uh, work agriculture as well as work women. All right, so it's time for us to reset the layout. You see? So now you start seeing more and more linkages. And this is becoming very interesting. Let's say hierarch hierarchical downwards. So there you have it, right? From document number four, uh, we have uh, this quotation, which is connected to this code and so on. So you have to follow the different lines. Now you can, you can change the way the lines look. You see that? Polyline, reroute organic, reroute orthogonal, reroute straight reroute polyline I like that and let me let me oops yeah that's very nice let me select tree also tree is something interesting as well all right so this is the visualization of linkages so as, as, as I said at the beginning a project with Atlas TI is a system of linkages and you can visualize them so so any time in the process you just stop and you say all right I wonder how does this particular quotation look um, in a network view? How, uh, uh, what are the different elements that are connected to it? Well, you can activate the network view of that just by right-clicking on it and select an open network editor. You can select a given code, right-click on it, and also open the network of that particular code. And there you can start inserting what we call neighbors, okay, importing neighbors. All right, so that is all about, uh, about these linkages. And in another uh, video, I will show you uh, about um, how to create another kind of linkage. Uh, those are uh, semantic linkages, because you will see that the lines connecting one element to the other in this network do not have names. That means that they are not semantic. You did not code uh, or connect this code to this document uh, for any particular reason. It just happens that that code was created in that document. But there is another kind of linkage that is semantic in which you say this code relates to this other code uh, through the following meaning. The apple is a fruit, right? Or you can say this quotation relates to that quotation in a specific way. Maybe you can say quotation A is contradicting quotation B. So those are what we call semantic linkages, and that is part of interpretation. And that is what I will show you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.